What up guys, J-Pops in the house today. We're gonna be talking about some of the latest Funko Pops. All right guys, so as always, not every pop that has been announced this past week or within the weeks will be in this video. All links will be in the description. If you guys are looking for anything that's available or any pre-orders or certain dates, check the links in the description below. All right, so let's start with some of the pops that are available right now or that are uh, releasing later this month. You guys have probably already seen these pops in stores. I'm gonna start with the Birds of Prey pops. There's a whole bunch of Birds of Prey pops and they are actually really cool. So most of them are actually just Harley Quinn and there's a lot of exclusives, but it's just Harley Quinn. The first one from left to right, you see Buddy and Harley Quinn. She's got the little beaver with her. Um, and then we have a pop Harley Quinn with caution tape. She's got like the caution tape uh, jacket, actually. I think the tape is like made of, the jacket's actually made of caution tape, so actually funny. And then we got a Harley Quinn from the Black Mask Club. We got Harley Quinn in roller derby attire, which is actually a very cool pop. You can even see like the hair, how the paint is actually really cool on this sculpt as well as the skates on this. But then you, uh, she has the, the hat on or a helmet, I believe that is, and it's supposed to be caution tape. And then we have Black Canary from the Booby Trap Battle and her bat actually says good night. And you can see all the jewelry on her. She's got the nose ring. She's got the little jewelry in her hair. It's a very cool pop. And then we have Huntress in the black hood and, and the bow. And then we got Roman C. Sionis. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. He's in the white suit. He has a chase variant and the chase variant is actually the black and gold suit. So those are all common pops. Then we have some exclusives. We have Harley Quinn from the Booby Trap Battle, which is a Hot Topic exclusive, and she's holding the mallet, which I just recently came across this uh, yesterday. I did not know she had roller skates on in this pop. Um, it's a really cool looking pop. Like I said, all of these are just really well detailed. And then we have a Broken Hearted Harley Quinn, which is available only at Box Lunch, and she's got the little hyena with her. And then we have Incognito Harley Quinn, which is a specialty series uh, exclusive. And we also have exclusives for Entertainment Earth. So now pretty much every pop that you've seen as a common will have some trading cards. The trading cards are the exact same thing as the pop. You guys have probably seen this with like the end game pops, but they, they do have a ratio to them. So there's a common card, a one out of six and a one out of 36 card for each of those pops, including the chase. Those are the only pops that are not available right now. Every other Birds of Prey pop is out there. You guys have probably seen it in store or online. There's also some pocket pops, pop pens for Birds of Prey, and some mystery minis. I'll put the picture right up there so it's pretty cool. She's got the caution tape jacket one, the mallet with the roller skates on that one as well, uh, broken hearted Harley Quinn, the roller derby ones, you got the beaver, the hyena. GameStop has some exclusives which are just Roman Sionis, which the mystery mini looks just like the chase variant which I think that's pretty cool and um, they have a flocked Hyena, I almost said beaver. That Those are the two exclusives uh, for GameStop. I'm looking to get these just for that flock mystery mini because I have not seen um, a mystery mini like that. So, but all of these Birds of Prey pops are available now. All right, so moving on, we have a Target exclusive, Mi Muhammad. what? Muhammad Ali, black and white. We were just talking about this. We think they should have put Cassius Clay on the box because like the black and white, if you guys remember the fights and everything, um, he was like Cassius Clay. And then I think the color fights, he was known as Muhammad Ali. But either way, it's a very cool pop. It is for the pop sports legends line. And he's in his like classic Muhammad Ali stance. Uh, was this the fight with Joe Frazier? I think this was the fight from Joe Frazier where he was, where he had his arm up like that. Or was it Sonny Liston? Wait, it might've been Sonny Liston. I can't remember, but you guys know that like Muhammad Ali picture. It's a very cool pop. It was available today. They did have a release date of January 19th, but it released on the 5th um, and it's still available online as of right now, like I'm looking at it. Let me just refresh this page. I lied, it sold out. It was available at the time that I pulled this page up, um, but now it's out of stock online. It's in stock in most stores, not every store, but check your local stores if you guys are looking for that. All right, so releasing later this month, HT Nerdette actually put this on her Periscope. She, uh, she announced like all the Hot Topic exclusives that are releasing. I'll just pull up a picture right here. You guys can see them all. We actually came across Human Torch um, yester in yesterday's Pop Hunt video. Check it out if you guys haven't seen it. Um, and then you see Harley Quinn down there. So those are already at the stores. Later this month, we'll have the Fuse Zamasu. We'll have the Flocked Smoky Bear pop uh, for the Ad Icons line, which is really cool. And he's holding uh, the shovel instead of the bucket, I believe that is. And then we have some Pocket Pops up here, Colonel Sanders, uh, 
Nightmare Before Christmas, Sally and Jack, Izuku, me do your, I'm not even gonna try it. The pops in the middle there, I wasn't even sure which pops like they were, but I believe these are the actual, uh, the drag queens. I don't know like the names, like you see Adore Delano, uh, Pablo Vitar. I think that's what those are. And then we have some diamond exclusives, which are Mushu from Mulan. And that's a, that's a red diamond. It looks really cool. Or glitter, should I say. It's like red glitter, but they call it diamond. It looks very cool though. And then we have a Cruella de Vil diamond exclusive. From the Adams family, we have another Wednesday Adams, and she's holding the heart. Um, and I believe she has like scissors or a knife behind her hand. Something tricky there. And then we have a summer stitch. This is so cool. He is actually scented and he is strawberry scented. So he's actually eating the ice cream, which is a funny part in the movie. I I do find it funny though that it is winter and they're releasing Summer Stitch. And we have another Notorious B.I.G. Uh, pop and he is holding the champagne glass. So those are all set to release later this month. No dates yet, but keep an eye out for them. I have two favorites here, which is Summer Stitch and Smokey Bear. I think Wednesday Adams is pretty cool too, but I'm definitely going for the Summer Stitch. He's really awesome. Ooh, and Glitter Mushu. That's actually pretty cool. All right, anyway guys, moving on. I believe these are set to release uh, end of January or early February. So we have from pop animation line Evangeline, Evangelion. I do not know anything about this show, but we have a six inch pop, which is Ava Unit 01. It's actually pretty cool looking. Okay? It's purple and green. It's like a droid. Then we have Shinji Ikari. Is anybody getting uh, like Cowboy Bebop spike vibes with this pop? Like that sculpt, the head right there, he looks like Cowboy Bebop, even with the hair. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me, but that's what I see. We have Rei Ayanami, and she's got like the light blue hair. And then we have Asuka Soryu Langley, and she is in like the red outfit there. So we have those four pops that are releasing for that new wave. We also have more Mulan pops. When I first saw these pops uh, released last or announced last week, I was like, I just went over Mulan pops. What is going on? This is actually for the live action Mulan. So, so there are only two and she has uh, her red outfit and she's holding the sword. And then we have another one where she's in like her homey kind of outfit. She's got kind of like, you know, her home apron and she's wearing like the pink shirt and everything. Oh, it's called her everyday clothes for more ordinary adventures. And then she, the one in the red, she's in like her, her warrior outfit. So those are pretty cool. For the Pop Marvel line, we have some more venomized pops. And I must say, these are actually pretty cool. I say that about like all the pops, they're pretty cool. But these are awesome, seriously, for the venomized wave. Some of the other venomized pops I thought were just kind of like, eh. But these, I think actually Funko got it right. All right, so we have venomized versions of Punisher. You guys see that right there where he's like holding the gun and he's just black and white. Looks just like Punisher, but he's venomized. And then we have Ultron, a venomized Ultron, which is actually pretty cool. We have a venomized Captain Marvel, which I thought this was Storm at first again. I was like, why are we doing another Storm? It is actually Captain Marvel and you get, you see like the, uh, the left hand there is kind of like her colors, but it's venomized, very cool looking. We have a venomized Groot. This reminds me of the very first Groot that released uh, the happy Groot, or the 10 inch Groot where he was like kind of happy, um, but he's just venomized on one side. He's got a smile showing the teeth. He's got some venomized creatures like out of his right arm. We have a venomized Doctor Strange. Now this one is very cool. He's like in his uh, meditating kind of stance, but he's all venomized. That is a very neat sculpt there too. We have a venomized Miles Morales in his like crouching Spider-Man stance. You can see even in this glam shot, you see like regular Miles Morales and then the rest is just venomized. Very cool. And then we have a 10 inch supersized version of Groot. And we have a couple exclusives. We have a venomized version of Green Goblin, which is available at Hot Topic and a venomized version of Spider-Man, which is a Walmart exclusive. Both of those are very cool. The, the uh, Green Goblin, you can see like the little Venom logo down there as well. This Spider-Man one is very cool too, but I feel like it's the most basic one. Him and Punisher is the most basic one, but I do like the colors on this, it's like gray and black and red, very cool. We also have some Pocket Pops, which these are from the older wave. We have uh, Venomized Hulk, Captain America, Iron Man, and then the new one, which is Groot. And then we have those same Pocket Pops as Pop Pens. And then we have some Mystery Minis. Now the Mystery Minis, we have two exclusive cases, which one is a Walmart exclusive case and one is a GameStop exclusive case. But I will just show you the pictures right up here. We have Loki, Groot, X-23, Black Panther, Captain America, Spider-Man, Hulk, Iron Man, Miles Morales, Deadpool, Thanos, and Captain Marvel, which those are all really cool as minis. That Hulk looks really awesome. Loki looks pretty cool. Even his staff is venomized. Deadpool is eating a taco. What is he doing? And Captain Marvel's got like the glowing hands. It doesn't glow, but 
that's what that is. So the exclusive case for Walmart, they actually took out Deadpool. So if you buy the Walmart exclusive case, you won't get the Deadpool mystery mini. And they put Punisher in as an exclusive for Walmart and they made Thanos and Captain Marvel glow in the dark minis. The GameStop case, they took out Punisher. Uh, they put Deadpool back in, but they put Rocket, a Venomized Rocket, and the Hulk and Iron Man are glow in the dark uh, mystery mini. So those are the exclusives uh, for GameStop. So overall, just a really cool Venomized wave uh, for the Marvel line. And I believe that is releasing around February. All right, so moving on, we have some two, we have two pops for the Pop Games line. It is Rage 2, the game. I've never played this, never even heard of it, to be honest. There's only two pops. We have Immortal Shrouded, and we have Pop Goon Squad, which both have pretty cool scopes. We got Goon Squad there. She's got like a, uh, a bandage on her. It was a smiley face, and she's holding a gun. Very funny. And then lastly, on this list, we have some more trolls from the movie though. Pop Movies DreamWorks Trolls World Tour, we have a couple pops here. So we have Queen Poppy and she's just smiling with her arms, with her hands out. And then we got Queen Barb and she's got the guitar. She's very funny looking there. We have Pop Branch and he actually has a chase variant. Now, if you notice in one of the glam shots, the chase is on the one where he's frowning. Here they have, they have it worded like Pop Branch, which the common is him frowning and then the chase would be him smiling. So I'm not sure which one that is, but again, like I said, the picture showed that the frowning one was a chase. I'm not sure, but either way, he comes with a chase variant. We have King Trollex and a glow in the dark guy diamond with tiny diamond. So he's like a diamond -y troll and he like, does the little one glow in the dark or do both of them glow in the dark? Not sure, I haven't seen any pictures uh, anything out of box, but the little one has glasses and that looks like it would glow in the dark. And we have a couple exclusives for this wave, a Party City exclusive, which this is actually cool because we can do a hunt for this one. I've never seen Party City either get um, exclusives. This might be the first one. If you guys know of any Party City exclusives, let me know. But it is Queen Poppy and instead of her arms just out to the side, she has like her guitar. And then we have a Michaels exclusive of King Trollex and he is a glow in the dark. These guys remind me a bit of the Garbage Pail Kids, like the Atom Bomb where the hair is kind of like, you know, on fire or whatever. But this is actually really cool. The eyes, the hair, the mouth glows. And he's kind of pixelated too. You can see that there. And the heart is a little pixelated. So these are all very cool pops. And those are set to release, I believe next month. It's like February, March kind of date. But anyways, guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. Let me know out of this list, which pops you guys are most looking forward to. If you guys like this video, it helps you out a little bit. Give it a big thumbs up. I'm signing off. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace.